and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today I'm going to be watching a Patreon request the show Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. That is a mouthful and a crazy ass title, but you know what? It sounds absolutely bonkers and I'm here for it. So I'm guessing it's about a dude named Dirk Gently and he has a holistic detective agency. I don't know. I've never even heard of this show. I do know Elijah Wood is in it. I'm a huge Elijah Wood fan. Uh, and he was in as a kid in Radio Flyer. Made me cry. He was in The Good Son. Amazing movie. Back to the Future 2. Uh, he's a great actor. Been around forever. Of course, Frodo. Lord of the Rings. I mean, don't even need to tell you about that one. Amazing Amazing trilogy, the Lord of the Rings movies. But Elijah Wood is a great actor. He is also known to produce and be in a lot of wacky, crazy things. I guess that's just kind of who he is in real life. He just loves the weird and the unusual. And he's also someone who was a child star who didn't grow up, grow up to be absolutely wacko and kind of messed up in the head. So seemed like a pretty cool dude. Honestly, I think I would like to hang out with. Elijah Wood, but until that day happens, I'm going to watch a show he's in called Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. So yeah, got nothing really to say because I have no idea what I'm getting into here, but I know it's going to be a hell of a time just by the title. So yeah, let's just get into it. But before we do, come on this journey with me, like, comment, share, subscribe, Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. Yes, I was awake. <clears throat> I've been awake. Lies. Where are you? It's time. I'm... I'm on my way is where I am and almost there already. So everything's great. Time for what? Time for... Oh! Oh! Murder scene? Oh, someone crawled. Oh, there's an arm. Oh, that dude's cut like in a hat. What? 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 Oh, what? What the? What the? Is this like a sci-fi show? That looks like some sci-fi blaster weapon shit. I mean, this dude's just let. Oh, what is that? Is that goo? Kitty. Oh, it's a little baby kitty. What in the hell is this show? Is this so is What? <laughs> what? I don't have <laughs> We're what? We're we're like a minute in and I I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I what what? Douglas Adams? Novels? I'm getting a sci-fi vibe. I, 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 I did not expect. I, I, I. What? 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 Max Landis? He was on a few episodes of Half in the Bag, Red Letter Media. But yeah, there's Elijah Wood. Okay, let's go. I gave you your money, Dorian. Where's the goddamn rent? I paid you the rent. I paid you yesterday. Don't tell me what you did or didn't do. You don't know what happened yesterday. You're not a historian. I'm just, okay. Are listen, you I'm, a historian? No. <laughs> no. I want my money today. 600 bucks or I swear to God, I will Mexican tell you. Funeral? If you screw with me Interesting again. shirt. The whereabouts of Lydia Spring, please contact the number below. Oh, is he like a, what is that, a bellhop? Oh, it's a puppy. A little puppers. What is that, a corgi? Cute little butt dogs. Damn, 
look, Todd, I need you to get up at 7.45 right away. There's some kind of a drunk woman up there acting crazy. And do me a favor. Check out the penthouse. They've had a do not disturb since 2 p.m. yesterday. You still have your master key? No, I, I misplaced it. Take mine. Never misplace a master key in a hotel. Okay, uh, but then we can talk about the check. Later. Yes, later. Hmm? Okay. Was that murder scene the penthouse? Yeah, well, I'm here. Hey, sis, it's oh, me. Sis. Listen, I'm not ignoring you. I just, I don't know if I have the money right now. And I, I know I promised you, but there have been some unforeseen circumstances. I'm going to get past it, and I'm going to get you the money, and you'll be able to. Time machine? No, you, you lied to me. You lied to me the whole time, and now you've screwed both of us. No, silence. No, no, you shut up. Don't Is you that him? Word. I don't want to hear. Holy oh, shit, this is going to happen. That means. Time travel? Alternate realities? I, I need a moment. This is not what I expected. And I mean that in the best possible way ever. I just, I just need a minute like that woman on the bed. I just need a minute. I was not mentally prepared for this. Oh man, this is it. This is gonna be fun. This, this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's go. Yeah, dude, you just saw yourself. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that was even uh, shock. I don't know what's going on. What the hell are you, Todd? I I don't know. Have you checked out in the penthouse? I mean, I'm, I'm on my way. I, I'm on my way. Hey, I love that bald guy. Estevez, Zimmerfield, missing persons. Missing persons? This is a homicide or something. Yeah, we believe this homicide has possible ties to an ongoing probable. missing Probable ties to an ongoing the missing girl? Persons case. What do you mean or something? <laughs> this is some crazy shit. Very modern art. It is strange in here. What are those? Are those burns? <laughs> Homicide said the guy in the bed was torn in half. The other guy had his arm torn off. There are bite marks on the ceiling. <sighs> so like what are we a, looking for? Like, like a werewolf? Or, or a weapon? There are multiple bite marks on the ceiling. They say the noise only went on for 10 seconds. For a trans-dimensional so creature? this in 10 seconds? The man was bitten in Dragon? half. Dragon? Bitten in half? Security tapes are badly scrambled due to power fluctuations, but we did manage to pull this. This is from under two minutes before you arrived in the penthouse. Is that your key? I don't think so. Wait, is he wearing a gorilla yes. mask? You didn't see anything weird this morning, did you, Mr. Brosman? Yes. No. Maybe, I, I don't know. While you were in there, did you see any kind of an animal? Animal? No, I... They uh, said they found paw prints. Paw prints? Like a dog? No. Also, you're fired. What? Your involvement in all of this is complicated. You, you can't fire me. I, I just opened a door. Well, some door shouldn't be open. You told me to open okay, it. Okay, okay. Is there, is there any way, please, is there any way you can give me my final check today as a type of severance? Well, it's a same-day termination. I'd have to delay the check. Same day? What do you mean, same day? It just happened today. Yes, today is the day that is the same. Today is the day that it happened. Right, but any day that it would have happened would have been the day that it happened. Uh, listen, I need the money. Yes, but it's a same-day termination. Well, it's always a day, right? <laughs> Things happen when they happen. They, they happen immediately. That's what happening is. It means... No, Todd, sometimes when things happen, they don't happen. <laughs> what? 
that doesn't make any sense. Oh, worst day ever. I'm hoping that lotto ticket's a winner though. I think your future self maybe did the murder and left the ticket? I don't know. You see the corgi again? Little magic dog? Yeah, little magic dog. You better save that dog. Hi. What the fuck is that? Good throw. A slap? Right, now you're gonna get yeah. Hi, yeah. Is that gay karate? <laughs> Who are you? What is this? Have you noticed an acceleration of strangeness in your life as of late? Yes. Perhaps a series of intense or extraordinary events which as of now seem unconnected, with the exception of each being separately bizarre. Perhaps every day before now has for the most part been humdrum and inane. Your life a mundane, unvarying slog through unfulfilling jobs, shallow depression and boring, boring sex. Well, and it... then suddenly, today, everything changed. And your life became a swirl of interesting activity. Yes. An assistant. I knew it. <laughs> oh, my name is Dirk Gently. I'm a detective. I live here now and... Oh, I'll be sleeping here tonight. What? <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of my house, dude. Maybe he could give you 600 bucks. You're a terrible assistant. Got a shot. What do you mean you got a shot? Do I take the shot? Don't take the shot. Confirm, take no. the shot. Oh! Jerk off. Oh, did you have a sword? Goddamn ninja. Oh, she's a psycho. Kind of dig it. That's a machete. Run, no, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> I've been working on your cardio, dude. Dude, dude, she's catching up. <laughs> Run. Oh, come on, my man. Dirk Gently, you are a dead man. Who? Who's... Who's Dirk Gently? You're not Dirk Gently? No. What are you kidding me right now? Then why did you run? You have a machete. And you're bloody? And you killed Red! Why did you just say I'm not Dirk Gently? Because I don't know who that is! Hi. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Might be one of the best shows I've ever watched in my life, and I don't even know what's going on. Honestly, the uh, the absurdity of everything I'm seeing here is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, it could also be I'm filming in a garage in Florida, and I'm super hot, but I'm not turning on my turning on my AC because I don't want it to be so loud. We'll eventually get there. But oh my God, I'm delirious. Woo. Okay. Okay. That's a nice car, though. Okay. Let's go, uh, Dirk Gently. You're a detective who doesn't find clues. That sounds, you know, insane. I see the solution to each problem as being detectable in the pattern and web of the whole. The 
connections between causes and effects are often much more subtle and complex than we, with our rough and ready understanding of the physical world, might naturally suppose. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sorry. It was good you decided to come with me. Nice of her to give you a ride? I didn't decide anything. You said... You oh, okay. Me. Well... Well, you decided it would be better to come with me than die. Yeah. Her voice is weird. That was nice. Is that like a vocal fray to it? Vocal fry? Fry fray? You gotta stop for gas. But you don't need gas. Call it a hunch. And she sent some murder? Someone? I'm an assassin. That's what I do. I kill people. You didn't notice? You were hired to come oh. here? I'm a holistic assassin. A what? Holistic detectives? Holistic assassins? A what? Holistic is the fundamental interconnectedness of all things. I don't do your whole deal with sniper rifles, poison, or getting hired. I just... I kill whoever I feel like killing all day, and if I killed them, they were my target. The connection between cause and effect is much more, you know, subtle than you would otherwise think. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Things, they, they double up. They parallel. Everything is chaos, but it, it's synchronized. Yeah, it's ordered chaos. It's like there's always something ready to mirror itself, life endlessly turning in. He's inward. making too much sense to me. Don't get me wrong. That just sounds like a murder spree. I've never killed the wrong person. See, it's mirroring, see? I didn't even ask you to do that, and you're already acting like an assistant. Is she like... I just... I'm just is she like a mirrored version of Dirk? Maybe two entities separated? One super psycho, one super nice. Together they are whole separate entities, but are one who mirror each other through some holistic reality of the universe. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to find a reason where there is none. It's hard to keep friends when you can't go outside without worrying a gust of wind will knock you down. Barely get out of the house anymore. Agoraphobic. Uh, well, why don't you move back in with mom and dad? Maybe they can help you. You know that they're broke, Todd. I would just be a burden on them. I'm a burden on everyone. What's wrong with you exactly? I have pararivulitis. What? Oh, of course. What is that? What's that? It's a nerve disease. It causes your brain to misinterpret certain images. Ah. And you actually have hallucinations that feel real. Ah. And in most cases, very painful. So that means water on your hand could feel like fire. Your shoe on your foot could feel like it was crushing it. Breathing could feel like. Whoa, burning. that's crazy. I'm sorry, that's terrible. So it is interesting. Yeah, well, it makes it hard to not be scared all the time. Oh no, things are about to get ugly. Stay frosty. Well, I'm always frosty. What's this? That's Rowdy 3, baby. Project Incubus. Shit. Oh! Stupid traitor bed! A pack of bonars. That's what werewolves. This? What is happening? The rowdy three. Just go! There are four of them. <laughs> I'm wildly aware. <laughs> They're that rowdy. They're after you, right? No, come on, Dirk, please go. No, please just go! Oh! Oh, they're draining his, his essence? What the fudge? What a 
that they do to you. It's complicated. Where's my red dog? What did you guys do to this place? Dude, you're way too strong no, to be token a J. I warned you. Bye bye, you thieving mother. Oh. Shots fired, shots fired, let's go, let's go. Move back. <laughs> they were going there at the same time. Oh, damn. Hey, no, you drop the gun. Drop it. FBI. FBI, please, CIA. Oh, my God. You're free to go. Hmm. For now. Really? Seen texts are saying the death looks like an accident. For now. Good news is FBI had surveillance on Dorian Eisman's house. They did? Um, why? Apparently, he sold a really incredible amount of drugs to an astonishing number of people. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not a suspect in anything? Hermano Palacios. Um, yes? Did you find a kitten? A little, a little black kitty. In the penthouse. Did you find a kitten? And the cat turned into a giant monster. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Same tattoos as the one dude. All done down here, Ed. Crap. They let me out too. Must have been the CIA always getting me out of things. They didn't even mention the bloody Rowdy Three, but I, well, I guess the CIA must have told them not to, which makes sense. Shut up, I don't care. Go away. Need a ride? No. You better go save that dog. Stop the bus! Stop the bus! About time. Stop the bus! Oh, he's a good doggy. I don't have a corgi. A friend of mine has one or two. They have two. They only have one now. No, they have two. They had three. Now they have two. Adorable dogs. I, uh... Your dog, I, I brought... The address was on the tag. Yeah, girl, get up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think she found a friend. Oh, he's getting obsessed with the sister? Or does he recognize her? Come on, dude. Find out you won the lottery. I know you won the lottery. Why else would you have that damn ticket? That's right. Every moment is an opportunity. Every second is a chance to change your life. Hey. He has the cat. This is your big and the gorilla mask. Every choice is a new beginning. The smallest decisions in life can have the yes. consequences. It's never too late. The winds Even of change. Now, announcing tonight's $10,000 midnight pick. 10,000, that's it? 10,000, I mean, 10,000. Is nothing to laugh at, but Four. I'm used to lottery being in the millions. Fifteen. Zero. One. 
One. I'll be right back with you. Holy shit. That was Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency Season 1, Episode 1. I have never been more excited and more confused about a show in my entire life. I don't know what's going on. I mean, obviously, Dirk Gently is some sort of alien or transdimensional dude who is solving a crime through holistic means while there's a psycho assassin who's killing people for holistic means we have a missing girl a dead billionaire we have elijah wood's character todd in the middle who just won ten thousand dollars his sister has a crazy disease i've never heard of we got the cia involved we got the fbi we got the local cops i don't know what's going on and I'm so here for it. I'm so here for the absolute lunacy and craziness of this show. The acting was great. It was shot great. The Dirk Gently dude is bonkers. When people tell me about Doctor Who, which I've never really seen, other than season nine, I think, or the ninth Doctor who did one season, I have seen that. Only that one season. But when people tell me about the Doctor after him... Uh, I don't know the guy's name. I think of this dude because like that's how people described how the doctor acts. So maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Let me know. But yeah, this is absolutely insanity in the best possible way. And I am here for this show. It is a patron pick. I do believe they're going to have me watch the entirety of the show. I could be wrong. I could be right. But I do think I'm in this for the long haul. I don't know how many seasons there are or how many episodes are in a season. But what I do know is I'm very excited to see what unfolds in this series. It could absolutely be just more bonkers and craziness and questions. And I'm here for that, too. So if you're here for me to be confused and excited about a show that is apparently a murder, mystery, sci-fi, fantasy craziness, then you've come to the right place. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega confused and excited and signing off.